Except for the daughter who was sold, the family remained together until set free under the Emancipation Proclamation of January 1st, 1863. But it was months later until the slaves on the Barnes Plantation were given their freedom. Grandmother was 12 years old when she and her mother, father, sister, and brother, as well as the many other slaves were set free. All the slaves were hoping and praying the North would win the war, but they had no way of knowing how things were going. Finally, there came a day when all the field hands and all the house servants were summoned to appear at the master's house. Although they did not know, they suspected this was the day they'd all been praying for. The slaves were gathered together in the backyard of the mansion, waiting with anticipation. After what seemed like an eternity, Mr. Barnes, who had owned them all like so many cattle, and who had held the power of life and death over them all under the laws of the United States government, came out of the house and stood before the group of men, women, and children husbands and wives, mothers and fathers, and kinsmen, who were standing in respectful attention and said, well, niggers, I sent for you all to tell you that you all are free. You all are no longer slaves. All of you who want to stay here with me, I will pay you for your work. All of you who want to go your own way, you are free to go. He then took a stick and drew a line on the ground and said, all of you want to stay with me, stay where you are. All of you want to go your own way, step on this side of the line. Hannah, who was then 30 years old, stepped up to him and asked, Am I free like you said? Yes, Hannah, you are free. You're no longer a slave. You are just as free as I am. Hannah quietly turned to her husband and said, that means, Alex, I'm free from you. I'm no longer your wife. And she stepped across the line of freedom, from the life of a slave, from the life that had been a living death to her for 13 years. She left her children with their father, who, like many of the other slaves, were compelled to remain on the plantation as hired hands due to the fact that the federal government had made no effort to help them establish a new life as free men, and they had no other place to go. Hannah set out walking, just walking and praying, and stopping along the way asking for work. After walking about 10 miles, she successfully found work as a house servant with some people who knew about her past life. These white people had long since put two and two together, and came up with the right answer as to why she was given to Alex to be his wife. Later, Hannah married a man who was about as much Indian as she was. Two children were born of their marriage, a son and a daughter. Her first set of children looked colored due to their father being a full-blooded African. The posterity of some of the second set of children went over to the white race and are known as white people to this day. Alex continued to work on the plantation for Mr. Barnes for two years. The children also worked in the fields, all except for Charlotte who worked as a house girl, making candles and helping with the kitchen. When Charlotte was 14 years old, she married a young man by the name of Henderson Howard. Although Henderson Howard was now an ex-slave, he was the son of the man who owned him. Henderson's white father, unlike Mr. Barnes, who had been afraid of his wife, had two wives and two sets of children. One set was by his white wife, and the other set was by his colored slave woman. Neither his wife nor anyone else dared do or say anything about it. This man, James Howard, who lived to be 103 years old, fathered six children by his slave woman. Besides my grandfather, Henderson, who was the fourth son, there were my uncle Henry, who was the oldest, Wiley, Harrison, Alfred, and a daughter whose name was Jenny. 
It's difficult to analyze the thinking of this man, James Howard, who enslaved his five sons and a daughter. But after he was forced to give them their freedom, he gave each one of them land, proving that he cared for them. After Charlotte married Henderson, her father, Alex, you. came to live with them. He helped them and clear their land right. and help with the farm and live with them until he died. Every day and every night we'll be together With the roof right over our heads we'll share the shelter Of my single bed we'll share I wanna the know, room. wanna know, yeah. wanna know now Would I provide a bread? I is got to know, got to know, got to know now. Love I, that I'm feeling. I, I, I'm willing and able. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this so love I that I'm feeling? Throw my cards on your table. I wanna love you. I wanna love and treat you, love and treat you right. I wanna love you. Every day and every night we'll be together here. Yeah.